Rachel Lambert and I'm the Women's Product and Marketing Manager at Specialized Bicycles. I specifically oversee the development and design of all women's road and mountain products. Great, and you're excited about the Amara, right? I'm super excited about the new 2012 Amira. Not only is it new construction and new frame technology, it's a beautiful new platform that has a lot of new benefits for female riders. And what are you doing to address um, women's frames? You know, they've been around for a while. I know you guys have been a leader in it, but they seem to be made for women that are 5'2", petite. You know, my wife has got long legs and a yeah. short torso. She rides an SL3, mm -hmm. uh, a man, a, a man's mm -hmm. frame, because she couldn't get the right fit. Okay. What are you doing to address taller women that are also racers, awesome. especially triathlon women? Sure. Okay, great. There was a, there's a few pieces in that. And the first one is, um, how are we addressing geometry, I think is yeah. the first question. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's a, a big myth in the industry, and it's something we hear every day and our dealers have to deal with, which is the perception that women have long legs and short torsos, and that that applies to all women, and it doesn't. And we really don't have a lot of scientific data to support that. What we do start with is the average height and the average build, and that's where we start with our geometries. The average height of a female rider is about five foot four. So I can see where you think that, you know, a lot of the bikes are optimized around that size. Um, from there, we take a lot of scientific data, but we do a lot of work with BG fitters. So we get real world interaction of riders with bikes. From there, we grade out our sizes for taller and smaller riders. Currently with our sizing, we offer an Amira up to a size 56 centimeter. And the 56 centimeter really fits women at about five foot 10. From there on, you know, it's a bit of a gray area and we understand that there are women who are above 5 foot 10 and right now we're currently looking at ways we can offer sizes that are bigger to accommodate riders like that. But the, the gist of it for us is that we always start with a female rider first and we start with the average at about 5 foot 4, we build a size medium frame around that and then we use real riders to grade out the sizes from there so that we can maximize the fit range that we do offer for women. Excellent. And during the presentation, is, so the new, I want to make sure I pronounce it right, Amira? Amira, Amira yeah. is is based on the SL4, is that correct? The Amira is an SL4 construction for frame, women. yes, it, wow. for women. And the real thing, you know, you you kind of hit hit right on it. What? Why is it a woman's bike? Why would you even call it something different? And there are key things as we build in the technology that we're focusing on. And the number one thing with the Amira to really optimize a bike for a female rider is the custom tube diameters. So of course there's the geometry, there's the sizing, there's the build, there's the saddles and the handlebars. We're all doing that. All of those things are important. But the custom tube diameters are a really key way that we can look at each size, whether it's a 44 centimeter or a 56 centimeter, and hit the same stiffness and the same compliance targets for each different size. So you're working on getting the ride instead of just the size. Exactly, yeah. The ride per size is a big difference in how we engineer our brains. Perfect. Thanks for your time. That was great. Thank you so much.